Yes, the plain land. Yes, the plain land. West Indies, the inner Australia land. <laughs> greetings, 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 my sports to the bone people. Welcome back, welcome back to another video. Thank you all for checking this one out. So, as you would have heard in that beautiful line that I sang just now, the West Indies team, they are now in Australia. So, we're going to talk a little bit about that talk about how the next couple of days will look and we're also going to touch on the youngster Shamar Joseph he was just signed by the Dubai Capitals yes so we could see a case where he would have to decide whether or not he's going to play um, the ILT 20 league or white ball cricket for West Indies that is if he is selected to be a part of the West Indies white ball team that will be playing against Australia. We know he's going to be there for the test series, but we're not sure if he's going to be selected for the white bar series. So we're going to talk about that. Plus, we're going to take a look at Australia's team. They just got the better of Pakistan, my people. So magnificent bowling from their captain. Just give a listening ear until the end. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. All right, so let us kick things off with the West Indies test team. Yes, my peeps, they are currently in Australia. They, you know, they would have landed in Adelaide. And over the next couple of days, they will be having their training camp. You know, so players will be working on um, getting used to the conditions. Uh, we have quite a few youngsters who are going there for the first time on international duty, that is. So they will have to try to bowl in the conditions, try to bat in the conditions you know, get used to the type of surface um, that they have over there and just to get acclimatized to the weather. You understand? Um, I know they are going to be jet lag after flying, for, uh, going down under. You understand? So uh, you can imagine they are going to be resting for the first day or so and then they are going to hit the ground running. So the test team is there. We haven't heard anything from CWI. So we don't think anybody... Um, was left behind because of papers or, or anything. You know, sometimes a team is traveling and um, one or two people can't get to go because, uh, you know, they, they run into, into, into customs problem or immigration problem, I should say. So we will listen, hope for, uh, you know, into the next couple of hours to hear if CWI are going to say everybody is there. But um, based on pictures put out on the West Indies Facebook page, the guys are there and they are getting themselves together to start their training camp. Just to remind you, they are going to have what? I think it's a two-week uh, training camp. And then they are going to have a practice game against uh, Australia Selected Eleven, And then we go straight into the first test match. Yes! Boy, I tell you my people, I can't wait for it. I can't wait. Um, let me just remind you of the squad real quick. Uh, so we have Captain Craig Brathwaite, Vice Captain Alzari Joseph, Kurt McKenzie, Tej Naran, Shanda Paul, Alec Arthanes. We have Kevin Hodge, Justin Greaves, Joshua De Silva, Akeem Jordan. We have Goodikish Moti, Kemar Roach, uh, Kevin Sinclair. We have Tevin Imlak, Shamar Joseph, and Zachary Makaski. So those are the guys that will be representing us over there. And once again, they are on Australia soil. And they are settling in. So as you can imagine, in the training camp, they are going to be working and spending time at the, uh, uh, at the crease, batting as many deliveries as possible, just going through the motions, you know, in terms of the bowlers, uh, bowling some deliveries, hopefully not a lot of sharp balls, you know, learning and pitching the ball up. They say practice makes better. I, I won't say perfect. Practice makes better. So... You know, um, just just trying from now to uh, bowl on a good line and a good length. Most memory is what it is, you know. You know, you, you want to practice going into that um, little practice game that they will have. And then they just go straight into the test, uh, maintaining those same good line and length. The batsmen will try and see, um, you know, what sort of deliveries they need to leave outside the half stump. Find out where how the pitch is played. I mean... Obviously, they are going to come up on different pitch when it's time to, 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 to play the actual game. But just to get an, an understanding of how, 
you know, the, 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 the whole environment is and all of that. You would expect that they are working, they will be working on stuff. So, uh, talking about working on stuff, Shamar Joseph, you know, he's going to be working on creating a good, well, working on and, and having a good debut if he gets an opportunity to go out there. Um, as you would have heard at the top of the video, he was picked up by the Dubai Capitals. I actually saw this on their um, official Instagram page. And just to remind you, my people, the ILT20 um, that he would be a part of, the, uh, that will run from the 19th of January to the 17th of February. So that would clash with the West Indies White Ball, um, with the West Indies White Ball Tour. You understand the, the tests we know he's going to be doing is 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 a part of the test team and will be doing his thing. The test runs from the 16th to the 29th. Um, so you know, uh, yeah. Let, let us let us see how that go, my viewers and subscribers. Hopefully, he will perform well in the test series and they can just recruit him over to go and play some ODIs. You understand? It's not like we have a whole lot of um out and out pieces that we can we can say yeah. So hopefully he performs well and then he will have that tough decision to make whether or not he will just be he will just um shepherd or usher himself over into the white ball series or he's going to go and play in the ILT20 league. Just starting his career, I am assuming that he would once he is asked to stay with the with the white ball team, I am assuming that is what he would do. You know, just establishing yourself. Uh, I, I am thinking, he, he, you know, a player would want to stay on good grounds in CWI. Most of the players that we see, you know, turning, not even say turning their back, but taking opportunities elsewhere. These are guys that are well established and would have been in the game for quite some time. But Shamar Joseph coming through and looking to, uh, to ash out a career for himself, no doubt will be looking to, good, um, to do well in the test series if he gets um, a chance. And would then, um, if he's invited, I am assuming he would pick up the uh, pick the opportunity to play white, the White Ball series for us, seeing that he's just forming out a career for himself. I can understand the quote unquote big name players that would say no, but uh, the logical thing in my mind would be to stay on good grounds with the sometime ish um, selectors, you know. So that is it for that part of the video. Still staying over there in Australia, my people. The Australia bowling unit, they actually put on a very good dis bowling display to beat Pakistan in a test match there. And, you know, they won that game um, with a day to spare. It was their captain, Pat Cummins, who picked up two five-wicket hauls that led the team to victory. So let me just give you the scores in that game again. Australia 318 in their first innings. Pakistan 264. Australia batting a second time 262. And uh, Pakistan, you know, 237, they, they, they got bowled out for. The target was 317. As I said, Pat Cummins, he picked up five wickets in both innings. So he was the man that did the business there. Mitchell Marsh um, got pretty close to our century. Uh, you know, he scored 96 for them in the second, in the second innings, while Steve Smith got 50. And Alex Carey got 53. So the Aussies, my people, they were dominant as usual. Winning that game there by 79. You know, watching the game, I was saying to myself that if Babar Azam had stayed, you know, a little longer, they probably would have, um, they probably would have, Pakistan probably would have, would have gotten up, would have, would have taken it home. But Josh Hazelwood provided a very good delivery to bowl him on 41. And... From there, you know, uh, things basically went downhill. So that is some other bowling that we will have to look forward to once Australia names um, a strong bowling lineup. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for this one, my people. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Continue to stay tuned to the channel. We have another update coming later on today. Big up on yourself. Peace.